Hi, welcome to day 13 of our 30 day yoga journey inwards. Today we soften. In today's class we are going to come through quite a hip opening class, getting into our hips and thigh area. And we're going to utilize the breath again because the breath is like a powerful tool that we all have and we can all use because it connects us inwards but we can also allow it to allow ourselves to use it to soften into the poses the exhales in particular are going to be our friend today so we're going to begin seated on our mats and we're just going to bring the soles of our feet together in a butterfly pose so you might begin to just flap your butterfly wings here depending on what you've been doing through the day they may feel a little tight so just allow them space to flutter open and closed a little as we sit here and then when you're ready finding some stillness bringing the hands to the ankles and just allowing yourself to lengthen up tall here breathing here and like I said the exhales in particular are going to be our friend today so don't be afraid to just allow the exhales to flow nice and long and then from here we're going to bring our hands and just move them up and down our legs just allowing yourself the space to really feel this notice how the legs feel here And then bringing the hands under the knees and just bringing the knees in towards one, an one another. Then from here we're going to move the right foot out of the way for a moment as we bring our left foot and we're just going to make almost a square shape with our leg. So our left leg is coming parallel to the long side of the mat, our left foot is flexed and we're going to take our right leg and place that on the top of the left leg so our right ankle is over our left knee our right knee is over our left ankle if you have a lot of space with between the legs that's totally fine no worries you could take your block as a little support under the knee lengthening up tall here and if this position here you can really feel this in your hips and your legs then stay here if you want to move a little deeper then just begin to walk the hands forward and come in to fold over the legs and again allow that exhale to be your release allow yourself to let go with each exhale You don't have to breathe in any particular way but when we lengthen through those exhales it can really help us begin to soften into the pose and that's what it's all about today we want to just allow ourselves the space to soften to let go and to release into them that's not to say it's easy because softening and challenging poses can be quite tough but that is our goal today to just begin to allow ourselves the space to soften now if you're folded over the legs grounding down into the hands lifting up and beginning to walk back meeting our friends who are sitting and then we're going to uncross the right foot off the left and then we're going to swap the legs so right uh, leg becomes parallel with the long side of the mat taking the left leg over the top and again if your knee is very lifted and you want to take a little support the block is your friend otherwise just crossing the legs sitting up tall and again option to stay here if this feels good or beginning to walk the hands forward folding over the legs now the body you know both sides of the body are often different so one side may be tighter than the other for me it's this side this side is quite tight but just allowing yourself a moment in time here to really breathe and allow the body to soften in can you let go within the body a little bit more through those hips can you let go into those hips
we can often actually find a lot of tightness in the hip area because as human beings we often are leading busy lives right and sometimes life can be so busy when things that come up that maybe cause a few emotions we don't have the time or don't allow ourselves the time to process them and emotions can often find themselves stuck in the hip area so hip postures may feel quite uh, well as we come through them you may find yourself opening you may find emotions flow and just know that that is fine allow yourself the space to soften in and feel them Be gentle with yourself. Beginning to ground into the hands, lifting up and uncrossing the legs. Just bringing the soles of the feet to the mat in front of you and we're just going to windshield wipe the legs from side to side here. Cool. And then we're going to roll over onto hands and knees. when you've found a tabletop position so hands under the shoulders knees under the hips and we're just going to gently knock our hips to the right side and look over our right shoulder towards the hip breathing here into that left side of the body coming back through center and an inhale and knocking those hips to the left looking over the left shoulder And coming back through center on an inhale taking the left knee and lifting it up in line with the hips pointing the uh, sorry the right knee pointing the right toes up towards the ceiling and as you exhale round through the body bringing the right knee to the nose inhale lifting up open through the chest exhale rounding in inhale and open this time as you exhale rounding through the back bringing the knee towards the nose and then we're going to step that right foot up between the hands for a low lunge now if you feel yourself really sinking down into the leg here and you want a little support you might take your blocks under your hands and lift up onto the blocks or alternatively if you don't have any blocks and you want to lift up a little higher you might just lift up onto the fingertips open through the chest here then plant the hands and step that right knee back to meet the left finding that tabletop pose grounding down into the right knee and beginning to lift, lift the left knee up in line with the hip pointing those left toes towards the ceiling and as you exhale bringing the knee in towards the nose open through the chest as you lift that left foot up exhale round it in inhale open exhale knee comes towards the nose and then step that foot between the hands again blocks under the hands or open up through the chest becoming light on the fingertips here plant the hands and stepping that back foot forward to meet the left as we inhale find a half lift exhale fold over the legs ground down into the feet reaching the arms up overhead exhale hands to heart center as we inhale reach those arms up exhale fold forward find your half lift long through the spine then plant the hands and stepping the right foot back lowering the right knee to the mat low lunge now we really want to bring like as if we're bringing that left hip back the right hip forward 
open up through the chest, lifting up and then taking the arms up overhead. So we're not really sinking down into our hips, we're lifting up and out of them. Really nice and firm and strong through the legs here. Breathing here. Then planting the hands on the mat, tucking those back toes and stepping back for plank pose. So first plank is the, of the day. You know your options here. You can come to the knees or you can stay here and plank. Come through your chaturanga, open up through cobra and exhale back to meet and down dog. Inhale, lifts the right leg. Exhale, step it between the hands. Lower that back knee. Lifting up and opening for your low lunge. Now, can you soften a little here? As we bring those hips in line and begin to really anchor into the knee and the foot, and lifting up through the chest, opening here, opening the arms overhead. Can you find any space for softness within this pose? This is a really strong foundational pose. You may be feeling it really into those legs, but can you find some softness within it as well? Allow those exhales to allow you to soften. Then planting the hands, tucking those back toes and stepping forward. Find your half lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Lifting up as you inhale and exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Find your half lift. Long through the spine and plant the hands and step the left foot back. Lower that left knee. Lifting up in your lunge. Can you find softness? Ask yourself, where can you soften? Maybe it's through the shoulders. You can soften them away from the ears. Maybe it's a little softness in the legs. And then planting that left hand on the mat and we're going to open up through the right arm to the right side of the mat. Now as we hold here, can you soften a little bit? We're lifting up out and away from that left shoulder, open through the right. Can you soften within the shoulders here? Breathing in and breathing out. Planting that right hand down next to the right foot. Tucking those back toes and stepping back through plank. Come through your vinyasa. Let's all meet in downward dog. Can you soften in this down dog? Is there space to let go here? Left leg lifts on an inhale. Exhale, step it between the hands. Lower that back knee. Light on the fingertips, opening up. Then lifting up. Where can you let go through this posture? Where is this space to relax a little bit more and soften? Then hands come to the mat, grounding down through that right hand and opening up through the left side. Can you let go here? Can you soften through those shoulders? Can you soften through the face? Sometimes we hold tension in the smallest of places of our body and the face is often one of those places where we really begin to hold when we're in postures. So just remind yourself to soften here. 
bringing that left hand down to the mat, tucking those right toes and stepping forward. Find your half lift, fold over the legs and then reaching the arms overhead as you lift up, exhale hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, long through the spine. Then plant the hands and step that right leg back. Lower the knee. Lift up for low lunge. Soften in here. Allow those exhales to be your release. And bringing the hands down to the mat, grounding down into that right hand, opening up to the left side. Now sending that left hand back towards the back of the mat, and you can stay here if here feels like enough, or if you wanna take it a little deeper, lifting that right foot off the mat and taking the left hand and clasping the foot with it. Open through the chest here. Really beginning to feel this into that right upper thigh, right hip area. Now where can you soften in this posture? Can you find space to let go? Now unclasping the hand and just allowing that foot to come back to the mat, tucking the toes bringing the chest to the front of the mat and we're going to ground down into those back toes, lift the back knee off the mat and lift up for high lunge. Sinking in, grounding down, finding that firmness here. But where can you also soften? Hands come back to that mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Come through your vinyasa. Meeting in down dog. Letting go here. Softening. Then bend the knees, look between the hands. And then lengthen back, down dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands. Can you soften a little? Before extending through the legs, down dog. One more time, bending the knees, looking between the hands, allowing yourself space to soften as you lengthen through the legs and back to down dog. Right leg lifts on your inhale. Step it between the hands. Lower that back knee. Open through the chest. Lifting up and softening in. Where can you allow yourself space to let go? Hands come to the mat, left hand grounds in, opening up to the right side. Lifting up out and away from that left arm. Then sending the right hips, her hand back towards the back of the mat, beginning to bend that left knee and taking the foot with the hand. Open up here. This is really strong into that left hip. So just allow yourself the space to feel. Allow those exhales to soften you in as we hold here. Then releasing the foot allowing that foot to come back to the mat, tucking the toes, lifting that back knee and lifting up 
through your high lunge. Breathe in here. And bringing the hands to the mat, stepping that back foot forward to meet the front. Half lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Ground down into the feet, reaching the arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Grounding down into the feet, lifting the arms up overhead as you inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Find that half lift long through the spine. And plant the hands and step the left foot back. Lower that back knee, low lunge, open through the chest. Then lifting up through the chest. Soften in here. Let go. Allow the shoulders to relax, allow the face to relax. Bringing the hands down to the mat, left hand grounds into the mat, open up through the right arm. Right hand sweeps to the back of the mat, bending that left leg, hand come clasp the foot. Releasing the foot, tucking the toes, lifting up through your high lunge. And then dropping that back foot and we're going to take our toes out towards the front corners of the long side of the mat, sinking down into the knees for goddess pose. Reaching the arms overhead and bending at the elbows, opening up. Lifting up as you inhale, turning back to the front of the mat. Hands come down. Step back through plank, lower the knees, come through your chaturanga, into your cobra, back to your down dog. Then again, bend the knees, look between the hands. Allow yourself to soften here before lengthening through the legs, sending the hips up to the sky. Inhale, bend, look forward. Exhale, lengthen and soften in. Inhale, looking forward, lengthening and softening. Left leg lifts on an inhale, step it between the hands. Lower that back knee, low lunge. Open up here. Hands sink down to the mat. Right hand grounds in, open up to the left. Taking the right hand back, bending into that right foot, into the right knee, sorry. Clasping the foot with the hand. Where can you find space here? Where can you soften? Releasing the foot, tucking the toes, and lifting up for your high lunge. Turning to the right side of the mat, heels coming in towards one another, big toes tracking out to the outside of the mat, opening up for goddess pose. Can you sink in a little deeper? And with that sinking in, can you give yourself the space to soften? Lifting up, coming back to the front, low lunge. Step that back foot forward. Lift up halfway on an inhale, fold over the legs. 
Then taking the hands to the mat and we're going to bend into the knees, sinking back to come and rest on our bottoms. Good. Hands lengthen long and then exhale back onto your back. Grounding down into the feet and then beginning to ground down into the shoulders. Tilt the hips up towards the ceiling and beginning to lift the hips up and off the mat. Exhale, lower down. Now this time we're gonna lift our arms up over our head as we inhale and lift our hips at the same time. So inhale, lift the hips, reach the arms. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. This time we're gonna inhale, lift, and hold here, reaching those arms, lifting the hips. Lift the chest, lift the chin. Then bringing the hands down beside you, can you lift a little bit more into those hips? Holding here and breathing. Now can you lift the heels of the feet coming up onto the toes? This may help you lift the hips a little higher. Breathe in here. And lower the heels and then lower the hips to the mat. Taking the right ankle, crossing it just past the left knee and bringing that left knee in towards the chest for threaded needle legs. Now you can stay here if here feels like enough for you today. Otherwise you can unclasp the hands, take that right knee over the left and take your left hand to your right foot, right, uh, left foot, right hand, and bringing those knees in towards the chest and just allowing the feet to lengthen open. Almost like you are um, driving a car and your feet are the steering wheel. The more you bring these knees into the chest and the feet out further, the more you will feel this. So just coming to where feels good for you. And letting go of the feet and uncrossing the legs and then taking the feet to the mat, crossing the left ankle just past that right knee, bringing the knees into the chest for threaded needle legs. And again, staying here if here feels like good, like enough for you today. Otherwise, crossing that left knee over the right, taking the feet, the outside of the feet with the hands, bringing the knees in towards the chest and breathing here. Can you soften in? Can you let go? Releasing the clasp of the hands, bringing the feet back to the mat and just walking the feet together and allowing the knees to drop open in butterfly pose. Now this is going to be our Shavasana today. So we're going to keep our feet in butterfly pose, arms come down beside you. If this doesn't feel good for you though, then please just take your traditional Shavasana, but just do what feels best for you here. Allowing yourself the space and time to just let go and be.
beginning to lengthen the inhales and the exhales. Lengthening the legs out long so you can stretch through the body, taking a nice full body stretch. Before bending the knees and bringing the knees in towards the chest. Hugging the knees in, taking a nice big hug. Maybe rocking a little side to side. And then bringing your hands behind your knees and we're going to begin to rock up and down the spine. And coming up to sit. <sighs> Bringing the palms together in front of the heart. Thank you for joining me today for our soften practice. I hope you are able to find softness within these strong poses and that you are able to begin to open up through the hips a little bit more. If you liked this class then you know what to do, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to follow along and to complete our 30 day yoga journey. And if you want notifications of when the videos drop then hit the notification bell. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today, I really hope you've found some softness. I wish you well for the rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow for day 14 of our 30-day yoga journey inwards. Bye.